Blue Mile. Alright, here we are guys. Green antenna shootout. Number two, is it? That's a part two. I've lost count of how many retakes, but today we're gonna to see what happens when you add quarterway radials to it. If the weather, the gunships, the tractors, the dogs and the cars let us. Stand by. Right, these are the, uh, the counterpoids I'll be using. Each one of these spores contains four rolls. Each of these is terminated with a crimp on uh, jobby, which I'll be pinching, hopefully, if it's big enough, in the earth bit. Right, in so the earth, four. Uh, attachment on the antenna. The same rig expert analyzer, same piece of coax, just handy because it had an end type on one end and, a, and an SO239 on the other end, I've used it. It's actually a Westflex 103. So, without any radials, just stood there on a tripod with no earth, the SWR is like that. I'll scan it again for you. So I can see a dip below 1.5, all the way up there actually, on 160 megahertz. I can see one at 190 megahertz, but the biggest one, pff, get out of the way, flies. The biggest one's down here. That's uh, about 23 megahertz. There we go, so 23 megahertz is the lowest SWR. And how low is it? It's quite, well, it's low, but. 12 meters would be usable. See that? It's 12 meters, please. Go. See that the Esterbra is 1.2 on 12 meters, so that would be usable. Right, go back to the whole thing again. If you can't quite see that, I'm at 115, which is basically the middle of the 230s range. I'm at 115, so that's everything down and everything up. But yeah, the SWR is best. It's actually usable, as it is on 12 metres. Right, let's add some radials. Stand by. I'm not 100% sure you can see that, but the SWR is between 1.5 and 2. To be exact, the SWR is 1.7 at 14.175 megahertz. Right, let's add some um, radials and see what happens. This is the point to add the radials on. Alright, I've measured one radial out, I've used the tape. It's five meters long, it's just resting on the ground, it's not off the ground yet. Let's see if it makes a difference. Just one. Right, let's see what happens. Instantly down to 1.44. Let's see what it looks like on the graph. So look, we're below 1.5 by adding one radial. Right, let's add some more radials. Right, here comes radial number two. Right, let's see what that does. Right, I've added the second radial. Let's see what happens. It's slightly changed it, hasn't it? I suspect, look at that, it's brought it really close. I suspect that they're, they are slightly too long. Oh, look at that. So the SWR is really good. On 14, uh, 15, 15323 was the sweet spot now. Unless we are below 1.5, closer to 1.2. Right now you can see that the SWR is, uh, you can see the dips in the right place. So it does work aiming for different bands. 
Right, let's try something like 17 metres and see if we can make that any better. Yes, there we are now. On 17 metres, that is only slowly 1.5. Right, let's try 15 metres in. See, it's not going to make any much effect, to be honest. They're all below 1.5. Let's bro on 15 metres is 1.21. I'll make them just a touch bit smaller. I'm sure that'll be 1.1 in a minute. You can see that as I unroll it, You can see this that we're actually moving in front of your eyes look 1.5 I've got to go in now for sure it's getting too noisy I give up um, the SWR is definitely affectable by quarter wavelength radials sometimes they're not always quarter wavelength they might be a little bit longer a little bit shorter um, I managed to overall get the SWR down on all of the bands I needed by having the radials all slightly different lengths so basically I walked the radials in and watch the SWR and uh, set accordingly so I could easily adjust for each band uh, by setting them all the same and making the SWR come down but I actually found that you could stagger the, the counterpoises and making them so they're not all the same length and then it makes it a bit more of a wide banded antenna but it's not really any good on 40 you, you could get it to tune on 40 but I think the lowest SWR was something like 2.7 or 2.5 so that's it, it is good. I will try it soon, hopefully, slash portable when I've got more time. Take it easy, guys. Thanks for watching. M0VST.